Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Oh, so many requests um, and a lot of them have to do with set expressions. So I thought I would just cover one topic here. When do we really use single quotes versus double quotes? What really is the difference? Do you know? Maybe let's look into that one. So, so let me just put two filter panes here, year to see what are the years that we have and country. And I'm going to create another KPI just so we can compare it. And I'm going to call this one. And over here, we're going to put in our set expression. So let's look at how to do that. So over here, as always, first things first is our aggregate. And, and then we're going to bring in our set expression so that we can create a subset of the entire data set. So how do we do that? Well, we start with curly braces, open and close angle brackets. So this is the start and end of the set expression. Then you call in the field that you want, that you're going to use to create the subset. And in this case, it's a year. And over here is our identifier. Now, since if you don't write anything, it's implicit that it's a dollar sign. Otherwise, you can put a dollar sign if you want. And then you say the field is year because that's the field that you're going to use to use to create the subset and is equal to and the value has to always be put inside curly braces again. And over here, you could have single quotes or double quotes. So when do you use that? Now, since it's year and we know that the year values are 2019, 2020, and 2021. So they are like literal values. So if you're looking up a literal value that's actually in a column or in a field, then in that case, you can put in put them under single quotes. So now I'm gonna say 2019. And I'm gonna say apply. And we have for 2019, 8.59. Let's just make sure that that is correct. So if I go in and put a filter and look at my total sales, it's 8.59 so it's perfect but there's one thing since this is a number if i'm honest you can actually just ignore quotes altogether you could just put 2019 and and it still gives you the same value so if it's a number then you can ignore it but if it's a string um, or an ascii value then you have to put it under single quotes if they are literal values for example um now if you want two years, let's say 2019, then I can add an extra one, 2020. I don't need to put them inside quotes. Or if I want, I could. This wouldn't be wrong. But since they're numbers, I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm going to put a comma. So now it's going to select two. So it's 18.59. Let's make sure it's correct. And it seems to be correct. So let's look at something else. Now, what if we choose a country? So in this case, we're looking at a literal value again, and I'm going to choose a country here, something easy to type. Let's say Norway. So I'm going to go in and here it's not a number, right? So I need to put the field. I'm going to say country and the field is again a literal value because Norway exists in it you know I'm not doing any kind of search this one I need to put it under single quotes now I click on apply and let's see if it's correct and it's correct so since I'm looking at the field country and there is a value called Norway and I'm writing the literal value in that case I use a single quote what when do I use a double quote well good question so let's look at the same scenario again I look at year and before I had 2019 here right uh, what if I want to do a search here in that case I would put double quotes for example I would say bring me I want all year which is greater than 2019 click on apply 
in this case, Click is doing a search inside the field here. In that case, you need to put it under double quotes. So now if I look at all greater than 2019, they match. So you can't put single quotes when you're using, when you're doing a search function or you're using dollar expansion, you can't do that. So single quotes is when you use literal values and double quotes is when you use, use it for search. So let's say that you want to do a function here. That is, you want to do a dollar expansion. How do you do that? Well, all dollar expansions have to be inside double quotes and not single quotes. So here I say, I put a year is equal to, and I put a double quote, and then I say dollar, and we want to expand it to, let's say, max of year. So you're making click calculate it. So in that case, you need to put these kind of functions inside double quotes. Putting it under single quotes wouldn't work. Use single quotes for literal values. For numbers, you can use single quotes or you could ignore quotes altogether and use double quotes for search functions. Yeah. Hope that was helpful. See you in the next one. Peace.